So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about WSS to WSS connectivity in the WDM signal flow. So here I have uh, taken the circuit as a reference in which we will show uh, the WSS to WSS connectivity. So WSS to WSS connectivity is always on the same side because both the WSS is physically present or located, you can say on the same location, same site. You can see here in this circuit uh, diagram reference or you can say in this WDM signal flow we will discuss on these portions WSS to WSS connectivity. How this WSS and WSS is physically connected, connected which, uh, through which port we will discuss all these things here in today's video. So WSS to WSS connected to pass through the lambdas from one direction to the another direction and the direction is chosen at the same side as the WSS to WSS connected at the same side by the switch ports. So for the two W for the two direction we need two WSS for the three direction we need three WSS and each WSS is represents uh, each directions. So this is basically uh, the DWDM signal flow in which we need to pass through the lambdas from one uh, location towards another location. For that we use the WSS. There are other uh, methods also in the CDC configuration and other uh, types of configuration but here we are choosing the WSS for the direction that's why we need uh, for every direction one WSS. So let's see. So here I have taken my circuit diagram reference so you can see here this is the circuit diagram reference or you can see the DWDM signal flow from point to point of one lambda so you can see the transponder cards then CCMD8 cross 16, FIM, WSS, uh, amplifiers and so on. So this is basically the red blue signal flow in which we will discuss on this portion WSS to WSS connectivity. You can see here I have taken a reference or you can say the example of WSS 1 cross 9 with opium for this demonstrations. So you can see this is the WSS 1 cross 9 1 WSS and this is in the second WSS. Here for explanation, I have taken the 1 cross 9 WSS. I have already said 1 cross 9 WSS connectivity will be discussed here. 2 WSS, 2 WSS, which is 1 cross 9 each. WSS provide here two directions. 2 WSS is provide two directions. You can see this is the one direction which is connected to the amplifier and this will be the another direction. For each direction, we need one WSS. You can see if we need another uh, another direction, we need to uh, install one another WSS which will present the different directions. Switch port DMX port here one cross nine WSS switch port port number one to seven port number one to seven is used for pass through the channel and these two port is basically we use for dropping the channel which is used to connect the CMD44. So add drop pair this is called the add drop pair switch port eight and switch port nine is used to connect it CMD44 to add drop the wavelength or you can see the MUX TMUX any types of uh, MUX TMUX either it is CMD44 or CMD96 or any but these two ports is used to connect the MUX TMUX to drop the circuits. So here WSS to WSS connectivity you can see this is the common port of the WSS 1 cross 9 21 and 22 22 is the common output and 21 is the common input and these two ports of the WSS is used to connect the amplifiers and you can see this is the add drop pair switch number switch 8 and switch 9 which is used to connect that CMD44 or enhance CMD44 add drop pair and now this switch port 1 to 7 is used to connect to pass to the lambda suppose uh, some lambda which is coming from this direction need to pass through to these directions so what will we do? We will connect this switch port to this switch port or any switch port of this WSS to any switch port of this WSS to pass through the lambda in these directions. You can see this is a WSS to WSS switch DMUX pair. So any WSS if you connect this switch port to this switch port all the lambdas coming from this switch port is passed through uh, via this physical connectivity physical patching and going to the these directions. So here you can see the switch port switch we are using the switch port one to so switch one out is for port number four is connected to switch two in or port number five and switch two out port number six is connected to switch one in port number three. So whatever the 
lambda which are going or passing through the switch port is going by this switch port and going out via this common output to this direction suppose we have one another WSS which is connecting in any third direction so whatever the switch port we have on that WSS is connected to this switch port so whatever the lambda is coming on switch port 2 is passed through in this direction so in the same way we can configure whatever what what the lambda we want to switch in which direction so, so physical patching is like this we need to connect the switch port to switch port connectivity thanks for watching